In this Remote Geosystems how-to video, we're going to cover how to import geospatial drone video into Esri's ArcMap GIS software, specifically using the Line Vision Esri ArcMap add-in offered by Remote Geosystems. It's actually a very simple process assuming you have the correct uh, geospatial video data um, and the software, of course, so let's cover what those items are. Uh, again, we're going to need the data. In this case, it's a video with what we refer to as a GPS companion file. Usually we see this in a .gpx format, .csv, or a GPS NMEA log file. Also, certain DGI drone models do produce a .srt file, which is also compatible with the Line Vision software. Uh, those are the DGI Inspire 1 and the DGI Phantom 3 Pro. Uh, of course, we're going to need the software. Uh, if we're going to put this in Esri, we're going to have to already have the Esri ArcMap software installed. We're compatible with version 10.2 or newer. You can get that through Esri or an Esri reseller if you don't already have it. And of course, you're going to need the Remote Geosystems Line Vision Esri ArcMap add-in, uh, which is available through Remote Geosystems. So let's take a look first at uh, the data we're going to look at and use in this tutorial. Here we have the video file. And in this case, we actually have two companion files. Uh, this one here is a GPX companion file. And this one here is the SRT file that came off of the DJI Inspire 1 drone uh, where this video was collected from. All right, so let's head over to the Esri ArcMap GIS software. Uh, this is your basic Esri ArcMap layout. Um, the difference here is we do have our Line Vision Esri ArcMap add-in uh, window present. And if we want to load up that video, it's very simple. We just go to File, Open Video. Let's put in the location there. Let's grab the video. Select Open. And in just a few seconds, the video is loaded directly to the map. And we can use this uh, tool up here on our Remote Geosystems Line Vision Esri ArcMap add-in toolbar uh, to click anywhere along this path that the drone flew to queue up the video. So we can either advance or reverse the video by clicking on the map. So again, let's go back towards the beginning here a little bit. One other thing you're going to notice is the yellow dot there is a cursor uh, that will move when the drone moves. Uh, so it was sitting still for a second there, which is why you did not see the yellow dot move. Uh, but now it continues to move forward uh, over this road. And of course the yellow dot is now moving. And we want to go maybe closer in towards this town. We can just click there where we see the roads and we begin approaching the little town there along the road. And that's how you add geospatial drone video to Esri's ArcMap GIS software. So you want to learn more? Would encourage you to visit our website at remotegeo.com slash software or give us a call or email to schedule a chat or web-based demo with one of our remote geo specialists. Uh, you can send us an email at info at remotegeo.com Give us a call at 970-367-7808 or go to our website and fill out the request demo form at remotegeo.com slash request dash demo. And we also offer a free seven-day trial of the Line Vision Esri Arc Map add-in software we looked at and that can be had at remotegeo.com slash request dash trial. Thanks for taking a look at this Remote Geo Systems how-to video. And please be sure to take a look at our YouTube channel to see what else is out there.